I'm always up to trying new things, and we're going to try one on this week's show. Got double the action for you. A two camera setup with stripers coming at you from every direction. This is going to be really cool, and we're coming to you from a lake we've never visited before. Come on along. You're in for a half hour of fun. Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. <laughs> You're watching the only program with weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Hey everybody, I'm so glad you're along with us today. We've got a real treat in store for you. Come on inside. I'd like to welcome you in. This is the Lakeside Marina at Bay Pine. We are located at Lake Martin, Alabama. We're coming through here. Walk through the little store. They got all kinds of snacks and food. And Tim and Lori are right over here to the left. We'll tell you more about them later. But here's the cool part. We are walking you right out here onto the spot where they have all kinds of bands playing and they have boats parked out here on the weekends. This is just one fantastic spot. And as you can see, we've already got the Nitro Z20 launched behind us. We're staying in one of these rooms right here behind us. You couldn't ask for a better setup with our ability to park our boat right outside our door and have access to everything very conveniently here. We've just had a phenomenal time for a couple of days, but tomorrow morning we're going out on a guide trip with Captain David Hare with Alex City Guide Service. Now the cool thing about that is we've never actually done this. He's the top striper guide in this area. He's got several boats that work for him. They stay on the stripers. It's a great striper lake. So we're gonna put a camera in his boat and a camera in our Nitro Z20. We're gonna fish side by side and try to get into some of the great striper action that they have here on Lake Martin. While we're doing that, we're taking you around your local region for your fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays, right where you live. They're all standing by with this week's reports. So right now, we jump in the Nitro Z20. Captain David Harris already out with his guide trip. We're gonna join him, jump a camera in each boat and see what happens the next time you see us. We'll be out on Lake Martin. Right now, let's get it all started back at the FSN studio with your weekend planner. Great news everyone. The Salooner tables are indicating that this weekend will offer some outstanding fishing. Saturday's conditions are forecast as excellent, while Sunday's game fish activity is listed to be among the best of the month with the prime action beginning midday. Look for the sun to rise at 6.43 and set at 8.07. And we'll have a full moon on Sunday. Hang with us for fresh water and coastal information from around the region. Plus, Bassmaster Elite Angler Mike Iconelli joins us to answer this week's Ask the Pro question. We're coming right back. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Tracker Boats. It's more than a boat, it's a tracker. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. Lorenz and the new Hook 2, the world's easiest fish finder. And Louisiana Travel. Plan your fishing trip at louisianatravel.com. I want to show you something cool, how they get that circle hook right in the corner of their mouth. That circle hook is incredible for catching striped bass. Hey everybody, welcome back. We are out on beautiful Lake Martin on a beautiful calm morning. And uh, we've got the first ever episode of our show where we've got you on a guide trip firsthand. We are taking you firsthand on a guide trip and we've got Captain David Hare with the Alex City Guide Service here at Lake Martin, Alabama. And guess what? The anchor of the show has actually got a fish on. We'll see what kind of striper we've got going on here. We're actually just free lining this bait behind the boat. Now, uh, Captain David over there, as you can see, is pulling planer boards. He's got four planer boards out. And, uh, and I'm just throwing a couple of free lines back behind the boat and just letting live shad drag back there. I'm trying to steer the boat along with my motor guide XI-5. You can see them in the background right over here behind us. Never caught a Martin Lake striper before. But I have now. We've got us a fish in the boat, ladies and gentlemen. 
And let me tell you the first thing that I notice about these fish in this lake versus a lot of the lakes I come from, these are fat fish. Look at the size of that dude. There we go. We've got a Lake Martin striped bass for you there. There's our first one. Look at the girth. Look at the, look at the fat belly on that fish. All right, and uh, I want to show you something cool, how they get that circle hook right in the corner of their mouth. That circle hook is incredible for catching striped bass. You don't harm the fish in any way if you choose to release them. And they've got a fish on over there as well. So what a good morning this is. And we're actually in the Tallapoosa River. These fish are all over this lake. They're in every arm of it. But depending on when the current's being released from the dams upstream on the Tallapoosa River, they're being pulled up this river right now. They release current about once a day. Captain David stays on the schedule. And so we had to get out here real early this morning to catch these fish. But uh, we got a fish in the boat anyway. There's you. There's you a nice fat Lake Martin special. This is just an average fish for this lake. They catch tons of them and they catch them up to 40 and 50 pounds here. Well, we're gonna release this fish. We're not keeping them today. Well, there he goes, swims safely away. Yes. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolinas report this week brought to you by the Crazy Sister Marina in Merle's Inlet. We're the leader in water sports along the Grand Strand and have been for years for all your needs on the water. You wanna go out and do a private charter boat? You wanna rent? a private boat for yourself to go out, or you want to go on a great eco tour, or even rent a jet ski, we can take care of all those needs right here at crazysister.com. Talk about so many things going on in the salt water right now. Again, I mentioned those near shore, weak fish, or gray trout, you can have a good time with them right now. Jig fish, anything shiny dropping down on top of that structure, you're going to find those spawning gray trout this time of the year. Remember, you can only keep one in South Carolina but it's still a great species to get out and target. You can catch great numbers this time of the year. And moving back inland, um, in South Carolina, you know, we've made a, uh, a request by DNR to release all of your speckled trout that you catch up through September. That deep freeze that we had in the wintertime caused some kills in those speckled trout. And what we want you to do is get out and target them, but make sure you release those fish right there. Let them live. These are the fish that are gonna give us all those for the future. Moving to freshwater side of things, Captain Lee Huffman, up on the Roanoke River tells me that the crappie bite up on his lakes is incredible right now. On top of your brush piles, you can have a great time right there targeting those. Let's go to Georgia and Lake Russell. The recent warming trend that we had brought the water temperatures up a little bit. Great time with the spotted bass, great time with the largemouth bass there. If you're looking to find some spawning fish down there, head up to the Rocky River area. They're in there. You can get up, spend some time, and find that big female, possibly your biggest bass of your lifetime, right there targeting those fish. This has been your Carolina's Report brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Fat fish. These fish are so healthy in this lake. Look at that. Here's one, here's, here's one right here. Got him. Got a fish on. All right, hey, welcome back everybody. We're still on a guide trip today and we are on beautiful Martin Lake in Alabama. And right in front of us, you can see Captain David Harris, Alex City Guide oh, Service boat. Okay. Got action going on both boats. First drop ever caught. We'll see if we can fight this fish in and land it here. Glad you're along with us. Martin Lake is uh, 41,000 surface acres, but it's 880 shoreline miles. So this thing is spread out all over the place. And you really do need a guide if you're gonna fish on this lake, <laughs> at least for a day or two, because uh, you can certainly get lost here. I've got my Team Lose rod and my Team Lose Hyper Mag reel here. And uh, it's doing a great job of fighting this fish. They've caught a whole bunch in their other boat over there, right in front of us, and uh, they're about ready to move on to another location. They've got close to their limit. This is just an average size fish here. They catch tons of them this size. Here on Martin Lake. All right, there we go. Fat fish, these fish are so 
healthy in this lake. Look at that. Man. Well, I tell you, this, this is a lake where you can catch fish like we are today in six feet of water and you can catch them in 106 feet of water. They're, they're just scattered all around the lake and you can catch them in a whole bunch of different places. Well, we're not keeping them in our boat because we are on a road trip. So we're gonna put this one back, let him swim back. He's ready to go. All right, well, what a cool deal. We are having a great time out here. Mira Lure, building quality saltwater lures since 1937. Turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a mirror lure. Wacobia fishing along the Mississippi coast has finally kicked into gear. Wind can be a little difficult, it's been a very windy spring, and it sometimes can be iffy getting offshore, but if you pick your days, the cobia fishing has been just great. Uh, primarily around that Ship Island uh, buoy area, uh, they're taking jigs and live baits, squid of course. Most of these fish are running 20 to 30 pounds, but they will get bigger. Uh, bull red fishing also has been good along the Mississippi coast. The north side grass beds of Horn Island have been very productive. In uh, southeast Georgia, Captain Greg Hildreth says the triple tail has shown up along the barrier island site fishing for them is, is outstanding right now it's only going to get better it's just starting a lot of guys don't know about it yet but these are the fish that haven't been picked over they're going four to about eight pounds five fishermen this is your time they'll take a uh, small uh, sh uh, shrimp imitating lures you use for bone fish or permit and they'll also take a live shrimp with the popping cork whiting fishing also has been good on in the sounds and beaches of southeast georgia and alabama captain patrick garmerson says that uh, bull red fishing has been good for fish to 20 pounds or so in the M lower mobile bay area trout fishing has been consistent and he's getting some very big fish using live shrimp or voodoo shrimp sometimes the artificial voodoo shrimp are even better than live shrimp well that's it along the southeast coast get out on the water and take a youngster with you when you go Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Lou's. Feel the difference. Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland. We know bass and crappie from heads to tails. Glacier Glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. And tough as hell voodoo lures. Do you voodoo? Got it. All right. Look at this. That's a good striper. fish. Here's a fish. Got him. Okay, striper on. As I mentioned, we're on a guide trip. Captain David Hare with Alex City Guide Service here out of Alexander City, Alabama at Martin Lake. Guides every day and he's allowed us to put a camera in his boat and a camera in ours. Now I've hooked up one right here and he's pretty far back there and all I'm doing is pulling live shad behind the boat on a free line. I've just got a little circle hook and I've got pulling behind the boat and I'm, I'm just going about one mile an hour with my motor guide XI-5 trolling motor and uh, I've hooked up one. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be cutting back and forth between their boat and ours and showing you action from both boats. Powerful fish. Not a giant fish by any stretch. Got him. All right. Look at this. That's a good striper. That's a good striper right there. Using those circle hooks, and look what they do. They catch it right in the corner of the mouth where. They just come right out like that. And if you want to release them, you can. Big old fat dudes like that. All right. So we've got action going on both ways. Got action here, got action going on over there. There she a fish. There she a 20 plus. Oh, oh. nice indeed. It's not full of eggs, not full of roe yet, but it's, get, it's, it's headed that way. This fish here is a little over 20 pounds. Uh, just an awesome fight. Bit one of the smallest 
shad we had out on the planer board. Probably fought it about five minutes or more. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm going to get a picture of him, and then, unless you want to mount him, we got to release it. We'll release it. These fish, this time of year, you can release them, and they definitely live. This water's so cool, he's going to swim right on off, hopefully. There he goes. This week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama Fishing Report is brought to you by the Henry County Tourism Alliance. You can check them out online at fishkentuckylake.com. Hey guys, there's a lot going on in the, in the three-state region right now, this past week. Um, in, in Mississippi, the crappie fishing has actually, I've been bragging about it for weeks, and it has fallen off the map. Uh, we've had some frontal activity come through. The, the fish are not really up shallow and aggressive like they have been. They're out on those first contour lines out from the crappie beds. And you can still catch them spider rigging, but the fishing is a lot slower than it has been. Uh, in Alabama, there's still a lot going on. Uh, the spotted bass are pretty hard to stop, even with weather. I think sometimes they like the uh, adverse weather even a little better. And those fish, those big bass are on beds at Gunnersville right now. So it's kind of hard to stop that bite as well. Um, in Tennessee, there's a couple things happening. The catfish bite on the Cumberland River uh, has really picked up. The water temperature range has gotten perfect. It's also good on Kentucky Lake. Uh, the crappie fishing has been tough. Uh, the, the striper bite up on the, on the upper end of the Tennessee River over in East Tennessee has been good lately. And Real Foot Lake is, is pretty much on fire right now. Um, they, they, their crappie are, are big and healthy and the numbers are really high. Uh, really good time to go there and catch them. So that's what we got going on here. We'd love to see you here. God bless. At the heart of Kentucky Lake is a special place known as Paris, Tennessee. It's a place where fishing, hunting, dining, shopping, and family fun are all served with a side of Southern hospitality. We went on some great hikes while we were at Lake Martin. The Cherokee Ridge Alpine Trail Association does a super job maintaining a bunch of hiking trails all around the lake. Lots of different degrees of difficulty. My wife and I went on the Smith Mountain Tower Trail System had a great time and took a few great photos along the way. You can always watch our latest episode on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Catch up on past episodes by clicking the archive button and learn about fishing techniques and new gear at our how-to page. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for new fishing videos every day. Simply search for Fox Sports Outdoors and click the like button on Facebook and follow button on Twitter. And watch a new episode every week on any device by downloading the free Waypoint TV app on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Motor Guide's new wireless and easy to use XI3. XI batteries powering the world forward. Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist. And Strike King, designed by the pros, fished by you. Welcome back everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro segment, where viewers get expert answers from fishing's top anglers. This week's question comes from David who asks, when putting a plastic grub on a hook, should the curl tail go up or down? For the answer, we checked with Bassmaster Elite Angler Mike Iconelli. Do you want the curl of the tail to face the same direction as the hook or the opposite? Answer's easy. You want it facing the opposite direction. When you thread that grub on, make sure that that hook faces the opposite way of the bend of the hook. That's going to give the bait maximum action and that's going to mean more bites. Thanks, Mike. If you have something to ask one of our experts, simply visit the Fox Sports Outdoors homepage online and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit your question. Now it's time to see who wins our Big Catch of the Week contest. We are back at the beautiful Lakeside Marina at Bay Pines here at beautiful Lake Martin, Alabama. And it's time right now to let someone have a shot at fame with their big fish photo right here on the show in the Big Catch of the Week contest. Here is this week's winner. He's Ryan Sheed of Evans, Georgia, showing a five foot shark he caught in the Atlantic Ocean. If you'd like to have a chance to be our next winner, just go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com, click in the big catch of the week area on the right side of the front page, follow the instructions to send us your big fish photo. 
As for the gear we use to catch the stripers on this week's episode, you really don't need to worry too much about it because if you book a guide trip with David Hare and his crew, they've got all the gear you need. But I will show you a quick shot of about a five or six inch thread fin shad that we used to catch the stripers today. The key was that circle hook that lip hooks those fish just perfectly. Now the other thing I want to show you is the fantastic setup here at Lakeside Marina at Bay Pines. They've got everything you need in one location, all the snacks and drinks and ice. They've got three rooms that you can rent. We're staying in one of those. Very clean, very comfortable, beautiful view overlooking the water right here. Boat slip comes with every room if you need to pull your boat right up almost to your front door and plug in the charger. They've got a great deck here and on the weekends they have bands playing and all the boats come out here in the cove and set up, listen to the music. It's just a party atmosphere all the time right here at Lakeside Marina at Bay Pines. You can give them a call at the contact information you see on your screen if you'd like to come here or book one of their great rooms and stay here like we did on this trip. And here's all the contact information. If you would like to contact David Hare or any of his crew at Alex City Guide Service here at Lake Martin, Alabama. They do a great job of staying on top of the striper movements all over this 41,000 acre lake, whether they're out in 100 feet of water or up in that river in three feet of water in the Tallapoosa where we were on this episode. They can take you out and put you on top of some of these fish you can contact them at the information you see right there on your screen. I know you would love a trip here. My wife and I drive thousands of miles across this country taping episodes of our show. And one interesting thing we notice is that there are churches on almost every corner of every little community in town, no matter how small. Churches by the thousands across rural America. What does this say about us? It says that we have a built in need for something or someone greater and higher than ourselves that's in control of all this because we are terrified to think that we control our own destiny and we are alone. Now my faith in Jesus Christ allows me to rest at night knowing that he's in control of my life and everything around it. But the good news is, is that you get to find your own search and your own destiny. Maybe it's time you walk in one of those church doors. Maybe it's time you begin a search for who God is in your life. But the great news is nobody's gonna make you. The next move and the next choice is completely up to you. One quick reminder, don't forget to like us on our Facebook page and follow us on our Twitter feed for lots of fishing videos that we put up every single day that you'll never see right here on the television show. Go to Facebook and search for Fox Sports Outdoors and like that page. Go to Twitter, search for Fox Sports Outdoors, and follow our feed, and you'll get all the latest videos every day. Thanks for joining us right here at Lakeside Marina at Bay Pines, beautiful Lake Martin, Alabama. Until next week, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.